if you want to learn more about menstrual cups, you're in the right place. So, without further ado, I have been using menstrual cups for about, I would say roughly five years. I don't know exactly the time, but it's been a long time. And I would never, ever, ever, ever go back to tampons because that's what I used before. I actually forgot my menstrual cup with me uh, to put in my handbag the other day when I came on my period. And I had just one spare tampon somewhere. I put it in and I was like, no, 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 and no. I could feel it. Menstrual, whenever I have menstrual cup in, like, you know, I can't even feel I've got anything inside me. I can, it's so comfy to work out while you have menstrual cup in. And it is just, it's just simply great. It's better for the environment. It's, it saves you money. There's so many, so many benefits to it. So I've been using this cup for quite a few years. And this is the Intimina cup uh, that I posted a review of it before I'm gonna sort of post uh, the video I think I'm gonna put, put the link um, underneath and what I find is I found this cup really uh, great for whenever your flow is a little bit heavier it's sort of you know kind of it's got a good suction <laughs> down there so now I have been sent those cups which this is a lily cup the coll collapsible one so as you can see, it looks like this and what you can do with it is, so you can basically, yeah, you collapse it like that. So you store it in this, so it comes with this little plastic container. You can store it, pop it in your handbag. This is, oh, this is perfect, perfect. So the, ooh, the pink one, the bigger one is obviously uh, so it's like there's different sizes to it. I think it was the same with this one. So this one is the bigger one. This one is the smaller one. So I would assume that I think if I'm correct, uh, I'll check it on a website as well and check the information. I think this one is for women who had children maybe and with obviously the heavier flow and this is the smaller one. It collapses. This one collapses as well. So what I found with these cups let me tell you this i think i prefer the slightly bigger one because it kind of reminds me it's very similar to this one and what i can tell you this when it comes to comparing those two it's i feel like this is a slightly more delicate on your insides because it's i feel like this is softer so this one's got a like a firm like ridge here and i feel like sometimes yeah as i said when it sucks like it stucks like you know to your insides like really like really hard and this one does the job exactly the same as this one but in a more kind of a delicate way and I feel like when you can actually feel it when you take it out so how you put it in is the same thing right so you fold it in like this you insert it you open it it sort of sits in that what I've noticed as well that when I when I put it in sometimes it would collapse a little bit like this but then I can sort of yeah I can put it in a like a proper position inside it's not an issue for me at all so highly recommend this cup it's great as I said like for storing in your handbag doesn't take too much space absolutely amazing I absolutely love it so I use this one most of um, most days when on my period and I use this one maybe last like last couple of days uh, so this is it now I want to tell you as well about the Ziggy cup which is this and I was really impressed with Ziggy cup because it says uh, it looks completely different it looks completely different it's very soft here but it said on the website that it is for the mess free sex. I can tell you this, I still have to learn how to put this in properly. And I found that, uh, so this one is for the, this one is for the lower cervix. And I had this one first and I felt like maybe my, I, I don't actually know about my cervix, I've, but I feel like my cervix might be low, um, which I found out thanks to this cup. I felt like this one was a little bit too big for me, if it makes sense. But anyway, what you do with it, uh, so there's like little, those little lines. So this has to go in the front. So what you do, you fold it like this and you insert it. But when you insert it, this, the front should go under your, the, the front bone, which I feel like you can put it nicely in a position 
but I still have to learn how to put it in because obviously with this cup I'm so used to using this type of cups like uh, for um, the years that to me this was easy right I can insert that in a proper you know properly that's not a problem but I received this smaller one and I feel like it sort of fitted in me like better but apparently it's best like you know for having mess free sex which is great guys try it out test it out but I feel like I still need to learn how to um, insert it properly or take it out so that it's not like too messy but as with every cup you have to sort of practice but anyway let me guys know, let me know guys if you've tried any of these cups I highly 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 recommend you know what menstrual cups they will change your life so uh, I'll put the links to all the cups down below underneath the video and yeah let me know let me know what you think let me know what your experience is and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye